On Saturday, even the rain could not stop the many who turned out to raise awareness for breastfeeding. National Coordinator for Breastfeeding, Deborah Thomas, commended the various regional authorities who continue to work towards attaining the international standard for the Baby Friendly Hospital Initiative. It means for our babies, they would be experiencing from the very first few seconds of birth, the experience of skin to skin and the initiation of breastfeeding in the first hour. It means for us as a country too, that our employers would have, and hear the word, it's strong, would have to put some things in place to ensure that when mothers go back out to work, there are staff lactation rooms that can sustain breastfeeding. Breastfeeding Awareness Week is held every year from the 1st to the 7th of August in more than 120 countries. Executive Officer of the Information Breastfeeding Services of Trinidad and Tobago, Rosemary Anatol, shared how this country continues to do its part to raise awareness. From the earliest moments of a child's life, breastfeeding makes an amazing difference. And the Breastfeeding Association is proud to have pioneered the celebration of World Breastfeeding Week and ensured that it has been recognized in Trinidad and Tobago every year since 1992. Minister of Health Terence Dialsing called for the removal of the stigma and discrimination of breastfeeding in public. Breastfeeding is not something to hide. It is not something to be ashamed about. And this sexualization of breastfeeding needs to stop. It needs to stop. Breastfeeding is a natural response. It's a natural thing. It's your God-given right to breastfeed when you want to breastfeed, where you want to breastfeed. Minister De Alsing announced that by the end of 2020, the North Central and Southwest Regional Health Authority would be baby-friendly certified. His goal, he explained, is to have all hospitals in the country baby-friendly approved. Murray Hall, TTT News.